What is up, you guys? It is your boy, John, here from Puma Plow. Welcome back to another Farming Simulator 19. How is everybody doing? And welcome. Welcome back. Welcome back. Sorry about Monday. I completely, completely uh, boogered that one up. That, that was on me 100%. I completely forgot to record a video Sunday night. I uh, came home from the farm super tired and just didn't do it. So my apologies. It's not like I needed a day off or, you know, just didn't feel like recording. I just flat out forgot. Okay. I got a lot of stuff on my mind with the uh, Christmas light project, which I'm sure I'll talk about here momentarily. Big things have happened with the old Christmas light. The snowman project, as I've been talking about for months now, it seems like. But anyway, how you guys doing? Thanks for clicking on the video. Welcome. Did we not cut that tree? Okay. Welcome back. Lake Linvale by Stevie. Appreciate the comments from the last video, guys. Although I... Oh, Rob, I think you left the worst one. You want me to traditionally log all of this out, huh? So like I'm doing right now. But like actually load it and haul it. And all that stuff as we get farther away, of course. Right now, cutting and dragging is fine, but eventually we'll get far enough away where we're, where we will have to haul it. So, a lot of you guys are saying move animals up here. A lot of you guys, or a couple of you guys, or one of you guys said uh, put uh, sheep up here. I mean, I could see it. I could see it all. Uh, Sean Sinclair also said on stream that this map's getting a little stale, so... I kept hitting the wrong button there, I believe, guys. Well, uh, so it's like, okay, you know, is the map getting stale? Is it is logging going to, you know, be that kind of different thing? It's obviously going to make us a lot of money. So, therefore, we'll be able to do more things with the map. However, you know, just let me know what you guys are thinking. Because ultimately, you guys run this show. And, uh, you know, I appreciate you guys watching. And I, I definitely... I like your input. I may not always agree with what you guys have to say. Off cough, log this all traditionally, Rob. <laughs> but I, I definitely value everybody's opinions and uh, I think it's cool that you guys are um, down to leave comments about what you want to see, you know? I think that's awesome. The, the engagement with you guys is great. I, I appreciate that very much, which is why I like recording the way that I do. Which is why when I just like flat out forget on a Sunday night to record, there's no video Monday, you know? So, since you guys, it, it uh, nobody, uh, the comments that I, I, you know, have a hard time remembering stuff sometimes. But the comments that I remember, nobody said like, don't, like, don't, don't cut down this area, okay? So, I guess we'll just keep this area. We have the money right now. We're making money off of logs. And, uh, yeah. Now, the only thing we probably won't be able to do is smooth everything. Like, flatten it, because that's going to take a ton of money. Okay? But, what I would like to do to make my life a lot easier... Oh, and Rob, I'm, I'm probably not going to traditionally log this entire thing. Okay? I think we can kind of just... Maybe that one's out of the question. But, to make life a lot easier, what I would like to do is come into the old landscape mode here. And how do I do that? I've, I've forgotten how to use this thing. Um, oh, it's over here, right? Yeah. Right? Isn't this? Okay, yeah. So we're just going to literally run the smoothing tool, which is like the center on the mouse wheel. And just get rid of the bushes. Because if we do that, then the stumps pop out a lot better. Uh, if you guys recall, Madison County. I did this all, uh, pretty much every everywhere. So, and it's a cheap way to go at it. Yes, it does cost me money, but it's a pretty cheap way to go at, like, helping myself out here, you know? So, we'll go ahead and knock a bunch of the bushes out. Because it makes life so much easier. So much easier. So, yeah. Uh, the other thing is we need to get a stumper going of some kind. I... 
kind of think I know what I'm going to go with. I think I already bought it, actually. So we'll have to, uh, we'll have to get that up here. So there's that. Not a big deal. But I am tempted to kind of do what you guys said. Some of you guys said move animals up here. Some of you guys said uh, Mondo Field. Kind of tempted to do both. I think there's plenty of room up here. You know? So what I'm going to do to uh, facilitate you guys wanting to torture me by making me um, do this. Because <laughs> that's kind of what it is. Let's just, you know, call it like I see it here. Um, you know, I am going to start streaming this map Tuesdays, Thursdays, probably like Thursdays for right now, maybe Tuesdays. I'll, I don't know. I'm really into farm sim right now, which like, I don't know. I come and go with games and, and farm sims kind of always the, like the, it's kind of always the go-to. Okay. I'm going to have to level some of this because holy cow. So anyway, I hope wood chips are worth a lot of money on this map because, uh, we're going to need it. Okay. I'm not paying attention to how much wood chips are worth, but we're going to need like every dollar we can get. Cause this, some of the stuff is very hilly. There's a lot more trees here than I thought too. Well, that's good. I guess. Right. Uh, not really for me, but <laughs> that's okay. Uh, but yeah, so to facilitate the amount of work that is going to need the amount of hours that you're going to need to go into this map. If you guys really want me to do this. So I'm going to start streaming. I will upload those as episodes, I guess, or bonus episodes. So probably like a 0.5 or something. I'm not really sure what I'll call them. Um, and you know what? They might just go on the second channel as well. Yeah. They probably won't even go on the main channel, guys. They'll probably just go on the secondary channel. So... If you guys didn't know, I do have a second YouTube channel. Link is in the description. And since I'm going to start streaming this, link is also in the description for my Twitch page. So if you guys are interested in watching live like Rob does sometimes and Sean does and different guys, Carson's always around when he can be and different stuff like that, you guys. So if you guys are interested uh, tomorrow, Basically, for you guys, tomorrow at noon central, I will be live, okay? I'll be live tomorrow, noon central. Uh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's try this out. Let's try this out. This tractor is really loud, though. But that's okay. That's okay. We just zoom out, right? <laughs> Ideally, we'd actually have one of these on the front and one on the back. It seems to work best. Yeah, we need a tractor with a front three-point. Because it really does work better to have one of these stumpers on the front and one on the back. You get a lot more done. So, probably going to have to break out an 8R or our, uh, I'm not sure yet what we're going to take up there. Not sure. Okay. Um, you're out working. This would be a good tractor little case. 8R, basically it's either a case or an 8R, right? An 8R, yeah. 8R not doing anything. It's work. She, she'll do. Kind of an overkill tractor for what I'm doing, but that's okay. That is okay. So I actually, talking on Twitch live, as I said, links in the description. Come say hi. Tell me you came from YouTube. I appreciate that stuff a lot. It's really cool. But talking to Sean uh, in yesterday's stream or two days ago, Tuesday stream, yesterday's stream. Wow. And uh, he was saying that, you know, he would like to see maybe a map with seasons on it. So I don't want to start. I don't want to uh, say flip this the seasons like you know midway i don't want to do that right but i would definitely consider doing seasons now having said that the simplified the simplified seasons i'm actually really digging uh, we're playing that on on twitch on our multiplayer and i was gonna say saturdays but i've been playing it a lot more than saturdays here lately 
because like I said a few minutes ago, I'm really into farm sim right now. Not sure why, but I really am. It's kind of weird, but yeah. So, I mean, it's not weird. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I just hit 3000 hours in the game actually too. But anyway, I digress. I, uh, I wouldn't want to like flip this to seasons. I'm not even sure if this is seasons ready. I have a feeling it is, but I don't know. Um, so, you know, might be keeping a new map in the back of the mind here as well. I'm not, I'm not asking for map suggestions yet, but eventually, you know, eventually we will pick a new, uh, a new map. Eventually I would actually really like to get auto drive a map with auto drive, like an auto drive for the map already working. Uh, I really want to mess with auto drive. I think it's really cool. I think it has a place and, uh. I've messed with it just a little bit. We tried to get it working on, uh, oh, what was that map? The big 16X map that we played there for a while. We tried getting it working on there. We just couldn't get it to do what we needed, you know? So, okay, there's a building there. Hello. Hey, some of these stumps are probably going to be too tall, which is fine. But if you guys recall Madison County, how we did all of our stumping in old uh, Madison County. Is it three? No, four? Yeah, four. Okay. F4. And I'll try not to flip into that too much for you guys while I'm actually making videos. Uh, live stream, that's probably going to be a different story because I'll probably flip to that a lot more. Just to make sure we got, I got the stump. You know, like right there, I know I didn't get it. But ideally, that's what the back one's for. If we get the back one set just right. So the front one ideally would knock it down a little bit. And now that the bushes are gone, like I'm only going to be cutting trees down where there's no bushes so I can see a lot better. That's going to help. Okay, that's going to help me out a lot. Oops. Yep. That's going to help out a lot so I, I'll be able to cut lower. And especially, I am going to brush chip a bunch of this, let's be real. I know it's not the most legitimate thing that anybody's ever seen. But it'll be so much faster. It'll be so much faster. So, Rob, I'm sorry if you don't like it, but <laughs> I just, I can't take, I, I would hate to think how long this would take me, um, to actually, to actually like chop all this, you know, so we're going to flatten it out a little bit to actually do it like with that machine. That would, hmm. Yeah, that would take forever. I'm not very efficient with it. Let's be real. You know, I'm not, I'm not super fast with, with that there machine. So it would probably take me a good long while. <laughs> not gonna lie. That would take me forever. So, but yeah, so tomorrow guys, I'll be playing this live on Twitch. Uh, it's going to be a ton of fun be a ton of fun uh the other thing i've been I, I did actually yesterday was played transport fever live that game is just it's so much fun i i thoroughly enjoy and i had a guy in chat that really helped me out made me realize that i'm an idiot <laughs> not oh, not a hard thing to figure out you know i had two train stations that weren't connected to anything and I was trying to run trains and the one train alone was costing me $15 million because it, uh, it was, yeah, $15 million because it couldn't run because it didn't have a destination technically because the destination wasn't connected to anything. And the way that game works, you have to have like the full, the full thing set up before like your train will go anywhere. And, uh, yeah, it just sat there. Costing me fifteen million dollars. It was very unfortunate, honestly. It really was. So you guys can see this is working out quite well. It is working. Probably what I'll end up with is one of these on the back. 
and the Brux Chipper on the front. I think that'll work out. Pretty sure that's how Mac goes at it in uh, multiplayer and his single player and stuff too. I have to pick his brain a little bit. He's like the expert on deforesting that I know anyway. He does so much of it on maps. It's kind of crazy what he does in the maps, uh, the Green Arcade. He is, uh, he's crazy. He's crazy when it comes to changing maps and landscaping and doing what he wants to a map. It's, it's insane, but done well. No. I don't have a chainsaw. I was going to cut it down, but I don't have a chainsaw. I thought this worked. If you got it right on the side here, I guess not. Not anymore, huh? It used to work. Maybe I'm just mistaken. Maybe that's just, it's just too tall. So. All right. So now that this is this little area here is cleaned up. Good, good. We got two left, but they're too tall. That's fine for now. That is fine. Pull in and shut that loud tractor down. It's not the tractor, it's the implement. Screaming loud. I'm gonna go back to cutting. Can we actually, can we cut this on again? I don't actually know if we can do this. Will this cut again? Come on. Doesn't want to want to line back up on there. Close. <laughs> Hope I don't hurt my machine with this big piece of wood here. You know what I'm saying? Run it right through and just plop her down. <laughs> Even like eject it. How much is that worth? How much is that one piece worth? Hundred three hundred and thirty. One dollars. Holy cow. Where's this other one at? It's over here somewhere, isn't it? There we go. I don't see it. But yeah. So the other thing about a, another let's play, right? I really don't want to get into that situation again where I have two, two farm sim let's plays run at the same time. Because I could only work on one at a time. And these late nights, you know, and I'm not complaining about the late nights because I do it to myself, you know. Is that one? $177. Oh, ah, we're rich. But, you know, I have some late nights here and there playing this game to get stuff done, progress the map, that kind of stuff. And I'm not complaining about it because I love it. Uh, I catch up on a lot of YouTube watching and, and stuff while I'm working on it, podcast, whatever. But I would not want two maps, you know the way it is right now like i stay up on sunday nights and work on stuff and i stay up on some tuesday nights tonight's not going to be one of them um it's already late and it's already one o'clock i'm i'm good once i get this recorded and as soon as i hit upload i'm going to bed um of course i have to render first but anyway why am i getting oh i hit f3 tonight i don't want to be doing that with 100 frames lock it in right at 60 you know game runs better with with it locked in right at 60 anyway um, but if I had two maps to run late nights on, I would never get to bed before like four o'clock. And if you guys recall, Rob, I know you're going to remember this and Sean, you OG guys. That's why, that's why I stopped doing let's plays when I did. Cause it's like these late nights just keep getting later and I just have just no energy to do anything the next day. So like I said, not complaining. But especially with uh, Christmas light season coming up, I, I can't, I can't be up till five o'clock every night, you know, uh, Christmas light seasons upon us soon, you know, I'll be putting lights up before you know it, you know, it's almost, you know, it's like halfway through September, August is not August, October's coming up, you know, like, and it's, 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 yeah, the time is now boys, you know. And then, so Christmas lights, I, I said I was going to talk about the snowman project. Chad and I have worked on them just very, very little, very little so far, but we have made the mock-up board 
which I need to get some video of for you guys. I have some pictures, but need to get some video of it in action and stuff. And I have started programming, so I have the mock-up board sitting next to me, which I believe I've shown it on Instagram, my story, I'm pretty sure. But I have it sitting next to me out here at the computer, so when I can, I program something on the computer, and then literally just like turn to my right and I can watch it. And that way I know it's like right. Cause like I was showing my dad what I had worked on and found something that wasn't right. So I was like, okay, I gotta go back in my program, find that and boop, boop, boop and fix it, you know? So really nice to have the mock-up board. It, it, it took some time and some effort to, to make it happen, but it's gonna be very handy to have. Cause I don't have to actually set up the snowman cause they're not even built yet, so. Yeah, we are waiting. Speaking of, I need to order some more lights. I need some more multicolor lights. I'm I'm running a little low on those for like the for like the uh the buttons and stuff like that. I think I no, oh, you know what? I should have enough. I should have enough. I can scrounge, I think, right? <laughs> I don't want to order anymore. But we're waiting for the uh for the washers to come in. Dad ordered the washers that actually hold the lights. And we're waiting for those to come in. Once they come in, we'll be hitting the project hardcore. Probably going to the farm like Tuesdays and Thursday nights along with, you know, Sundays and Wednesdays. Just to really ramp up the project and get all, as much done as possible, you know. That's probably what we're going to end up doing. Because we want to get them done so that we can kind of focus on the, the little bit of pumpkin day that we're actually going to have. And, and whatever else, you know, just kind of get them done. So... Yeah, I think we need to sell some lumber. I think we got enough here. Just saying. All right. Let's sell that lumber. 30 grand. Heck yeah. I mean, it's decent money, you know. It is decent money. I won't I won't lie about that. It's decent money and time you do all this and actually let's look if the auto save goes through. Let's look at wood chips. Actually, my next map, too, by the way, I'm, I would like, I, I still want to mess with the straw stuff. I just haven't done it yet. Um, but I would like my next map to have multi-fruit, too. I would like to get back to that, too. Wood chips are worth a, that seems like an awful lot. But I don't know. I don't, I don't actually know what, you know, if that's a lot or not. I do not actually know. Could go get a brush shipper and find out though. Maybe I should do that in this video because that'll kind of determine what I do on the stream. If I'm gonna log or if I'm gonna brux. Would like to brux. I'm not even gonna lie. Okay, so let's just say this is kind of an average tree. That's not one of the super tall ones, but it's not a it's not a tiny one, right? Let's cut this up and lay it in here. We're not gonna sell it right now. Okay, well, we're gonna do a little comparison. Cause even if it's worth less money to chip it, chipping is so much easier. So that's kind of a typical, a typical tree, right? Okay, we probably need this tractor, honestly. So, me pitter patter and get at it here. There we go. Hey, why won't you unhook? Unhook, thank you. Okay, so let's go. It's just like an average tree, yeah. Let's go grab the br a brux and that trailer that we have that holds like a lot and a lot. You know what I'm saying? It holds a lot. Holds an awful lot. It's a modded, heavily modded trailer. It holds way too much, but that's okay. We still have harvest to do, by the way. I haven't completed this round of harvest. I am planting. I am planting currently right now in field 19. We're planting grass over there for hay. And then everything else is going to be planted in corn. Uh, for this go around. So. That in mind for. The cows, right? Uh, is this my. That's not my big one. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't have my 100 million liter one. That's okay. Not the right color, is it? <laughs> That's not John Deere. Not that it matters, because it doesn't actually change the color much, but that's okay. We will put the stump grinding attachment on it as well. I like the stump grinding attachment. It doesn't always work, but 
could get it working right this thing does work better on a front loader tractor but it'll work it'll work wait there we go hold put the stop running your part on okay this one holds a hundred a hundred thousand I had a I had one was that on was that on uh, what's it called Madison County where it was a hundred million <laughs> yes sir that thing was nice that thing was so nice to have oh my goodness that thing was nice I love that one because you could just go and chip and chip and chip and chip and never have to empty you guys recall the Madison County series I actually had like I would set up course play just to run trucks to get even remotely close to where I was wood chipping so I could uh, I could keep moving you know that was pretty crazy that was an awesome map I love that map okay there not my trailer there's not my trailer there it is we'll take the modded one because why not why not we can harvest or chip forever with that thing so go ahead and take it we cut down an average size tree and then we're going to compare going to compare prices because if it's remotely close to chip i'm gonna chip let's be real i'm probably gonna chip anyway right because chipping is so much easier <laughs> Shipping is so much easier. So much faster, you know. Get her done. Pitter patter. Look at our pigs. Ooh, wait. Not what pigs say. Oink. Bacon. Pork chop. Ham. They say that stuff. They don't say moo. That's that's yeah. It's did I mention it's kinda late? Not really, but it's late enough to talk crazy apparently. You know that <laughs> all righty let's go find us kind of the same tree and actually i should have i should do this a little different maybe but that's okay it's just kind of a rough idea you know i'm not not 100 percent. it was that's a three trunk tree so i'm gonna say it was like one like this one like this right here all right let's turn that on lower turn that on lower Okay, would like to finish my tree. Thank you much. Okay, did that actually get got it all to use to be? Okay, so let's turn off and raise. Okay. So where was that even at? I don't even know. Oh, okay. Mill's up north, right? Let's go find the mill. We're off to see the wizard. So it's one, oh, that's water though. Mm, nope, that's still water that way. Mm, nope, nope. Abort. Change directions. Put it in reverse, Terror. Who's, who's seen that TikTok, by the way, though? I don't even think that started as a TikTok. I don't even know where that started. Twitter? I'm not sure. The put it in reverse, Terror. I don't even think that was from this year. I think it's, it's from like a couple years ago, I think. That guy lighting the firework in the electric wheelchair. Put it in reverse, Terror. What are you doing? Oh, so funny. It's funny because he didn't get hurt. Just let me be clear. Would not have been funny if he got hurt, of course. Would have been hilarious. Wait. I don't mean that. <laughs> I don't mean that, I swear. No, it would have not been good. Obviously, duh. But he didn't get hurt, so it's all good. But yeah, so tonight, actually, while I was, uh, before I recorded this video, I sat at the computer for a couple hours and I got three and a half minutes programmed of the snowman and it's not super clean. It needs a little work. Like I said, there's that one for sure that I kind of messed up that one spot, but about three and a half hours or about three and a half minutes. I'm not actually sure how long it took me to do it. It was a couple hours, but I was also talking to him so he can hanging out with the peeps so 
There's that too. Okay, we're gonna dump this. What's that gonna give us? Get in a good spot so we can see. That gives us 1180, 11,000. That was $11,182 as opposed to 5,600. Yeah, we're gonna brux chip all of this, Rob. I have just, sorry to let you know, but uh, yeah, we're gonna chip a lot of it, okay? Probably all of it, to be completely honest. Although I do, I okay, not all of it. I haven't used the trailer yet and like to load them. I haven't done that, but we will do that eventually. We'll pick a far away spot from where we're working right now. Cause there's plenty of places to go up there. Probably down South, just North of the BGA. And then we can truck them up with, uh, with the semi and that particular trailer that's right there actually as well. So we'll use our front loader arms and we'll go at it. But for the majority of this, like probably all stream tomorrow, uh, I'm probably going to be chipping. So here we go, guys. I will be breaking the map. I will tell you that right now. The map will be broken. Just because, you know, that's just the way it's going to be, probably. And uh, I will have to start. And, you know, we're still probably 10 or 15 episodes away from uh, wrapping it up, Randy, you know. Wrap it up, Randy. Put it reverse, terror. You know, all that stuff, right? We're still probably a good little ways away from doing that, but uh, yeah, so tomorrow stream. And I might set up course play and get a different auger wagon. Because if we run this other auger wagon, that's 150,000 capacity, 150,000 plus I hold a hundred. So that's 250. I can do math. Wow. Uh, 250,000 capacity, and that would be very handy to have, you know, for, for doing all this. That is not in the lowered position. There we go. That would be super handy to, to have, and then we'll come back with the Brux and, or not the Brux, but the, the, the stumper and, uh, stump all these out. Now I know there's a trick to this thing. But yeah, so that'd be good. So then what we can do is we can set up, we can set up say a tractor on course play with this trailer to actually haul them all in. And actually I'd probably put them in storage. To be honest, probably we would run them all to storage and then worry about, uh, worry about selling them off later. Which way is the better way to go? Up or down? Hmm. I'm not actually sure. Which way is better to go with the Brux? Up or down? Seems like it's working real good up. But then that should be enough stump. Yeah. That shouldn't be too much stump for that uh, dipper to handle, you know? Or the, the stumper. See how much faster this is? How fast I can cut these trees down? And just pitter patter here, you know? I'm at 13, 16% of this trailer already. Holy cow. Of course, a lot of these are big. Big old trees, guys. Big old trees. I feel like up's the better way. I'm going to try it down again. That just like cuts it. It doesn't do the right sound. You know what I'm saying? Although if I have it up, it does the right sound. The kind of milli, like a buzzsaw running sound type thing. Plus then I can feel like I can maneuver better because I don't have to back up as much and it's stuck. Man, I'm going to have a trailer load. Holy cow. Yeah, I'd probably put all these in storage and wait for a good price. To be honest, I'm, I'm pretty sure my storage holds uh, wood chips. So That's what I think I'm going to do tomorrow on the stream, guys. Just set up course play to run to the storage. And just absolutely go ham up here and try to get as much of this done as possible so we won't break the map tomorrow but we'll have the funds or we'll have the wood chips available uh to break the map because why not right oh yeah so i'm just uh <laughs> need to stop i'm not gonna sit here and do this all night put it in reverse john 
Let's go shut her down. And just like that, we have stumps. So we'll probably get our other 8R up here to uh, run stumps for us for a little bit. So. All right, with that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Do not forget about the stream tomorrow at noon central on Twitch. Link is in the description below. Make sure you guys come say hi. I will catch you guys there. And like I said, I will upload that eventually to the second channel. Link's also in the description if you guys don't know I, or didn't know I had a second channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And as always, a toodles.